Hello guys and welcome to my review of the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant. The first thing that I'll do is pull out some of the throttles that come with the Honeycomb Bravo. Quick disclaimer, Honeycomb sent this over to me for free, but they did not pay me at all to give it a good rating, so this is all not biased or anything, in my opinion. Thank you to Honeycomb for doing that, and we will continue with the unboxing. Alright, so there is the throttle quadrant all unboxed with the two thrust lever sets that come with it, the general aviation and commercial ones. You can also see all of the things that come inside the box, just some packets and uh, some clamps to clamp it to your desk. The first thing that we'll unbox is the GA thrust levers. We've got the throttle, prop, and mixture levers to make ultimate realism and control each prop individually. Easy install there as you can see and they just plop on perfectly. Later in the video we'll test them out in the simulator but let's move on to the commercial levers. Alright now we're moving over to the commercial thrust levers. I set it up initially as the 747 with the four thrust levers. But as you can see here I also make it into kind of a 737, 757, two engine Boeing layout. Amazing reversers attached, it's awesome to be able to actually pull the reverse thrust after landing instead of just pressing a button. Also with an integrated toga switch and flap and speed brake levers, really cool and great functionality overall. Another thing that I want to cover real quick is some of the other controls on the Bravo Throttle Quadrant, including the autopilot panel with different modes and selectors, a bunch of switches that you can combine to do whatever you want with them. Also, a great feature that isn't talked about much is the trim wheel. Alrighty guys, we hopped on the PMDG 737 using two of the commercial thrust levers. As you can see, they look pretty much identical to the thrust levers down there. Really awesome replication of the real aircraft. So go ahead and drop our flaps 40. Our thrust levers here, make sure our speed brakes are armed. See that by the green light there. Double check gear down, three greens. I love seeing the green lit up uh, display for three greens. That's really helpful and just adds a great touch to it. All right, we're looking good. Two whites, two reds. Keep maintaining our speed here. And we're down, we'll pull the reversers, make sure our speed brake is up. Decel. Alright, let's go ahead and stow them, guys. Really awesome landing there. Love the reversers and uh, love having the speed brake and the flaps as well. We'll go ahead and clean up the speed brake lever and we'll bring the flaps all the way up. Really good overall. One thing that I wish um, what would be better is that the thrust levers are a bit bigger. But other than that, I mean, I really have no complaints. It worked just like. It's intended to and better. Alrighty guys, as you can see, we've hopped into the 747. This variant is the Fila 747-200 in X-Plane. I have put all four of my commercial levers on, put them on. We also have our speed brake and flap lever, even though we have all four of these, as well as four reversers as well. Test those out. There it is. And then we'll pull our flaps down for departure. Flaps 10. There we go. Another thing that I want to touch on is this tension uh, little knob here. This makes the, the throttles feel heavier in your hand, and I personally have it to the max. I think that's the most realistic thing that you can have, so I like putting a little force on the thrust levers. Alright guys, so why don't we perform a quick takeoff here. Let's spool them up to about 40 here. You see, it took a little bit of strength there to get them moving. And we'll set our takeoff thrust. Gear coming up. Hands back on the thrust levers. We have flaps five. Gears up. Flaps one. 
And there's our clean speed. Flap zero. We'll manually set our climb thrust. That was an awesome departure, guys. Love using all four of the thrust levers at once. I've never been able to do that. But this is the only pretty much reasonable um, throttle that on the market that you can do that with. So, love using all four of them. Plus a speed brake and a flap lever, of course. Gear lever and a bunch of other autopilot commands. I definitely recommend this thing. So many features packed into one thing for a pretty good price of uh, around 250 to 280 bucks. Alrighty guys, welcome into the Cessna 414. As we have here a great flight simulator model by Fly Simware. As you can see, it's almost identical to the way that the Honeycomb Bravo is built. You've got your two thrust levers, the throttles, you have your props, and you have your mixtures. Another thing that we'll do real quick is thank you to Honeycomb for sending over the GA trim wheel. We'll go and plop that on to here. So one quick tip, you can just raise the gear for a second to be able to put this thing on. But it's a super easy install and it's really realistic. As you can see, it looks really similar to this pitch trim well right here. Alrighty guys, why don't we perform a quick takeoff here from Sedona Airport. We'll spool them up a little bit here. And we will set our takeoff thrust. Our 80 knots rotate. We got that positive rate. Bring the gear up. And we'll bring the flaps up. As you can see, that is included as well with the Honeycomb Bravo. We'll start our left hand turn here. And we will set our climb thrust. So we'll bring the Props back into the green and 2500 RPM. Love being able to do that specifically with each thrust lever. We use our trim wheel here as we begin to climb. Trim it up a little bit here. And there you have it, guys. That was a nice, successful takeoff. Love using the Honeycomb Bravo on the way out here. Let's go ahead and cut to my final thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed using the Honeycomb Bravo in this review video. I really hope I could help you out if you're debating whether to buy it or not. I really think that it's awesome. For 250 to 280 bucks, you get so many features packed into one. I'll be definitely using it in some more videos and live streams coming soon, so make sure to have notifications on for that. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you for visiting the Center of Aviation. Have a great day.